What's up, Doodle Clubbers and Chroma Clubbers? Embrace the power of the doodle. I want to give a little update on the virtual world. Um, I think I was discussing this idea with some other people because we're like, look, should you be able to pick up all the gel in the world? And I think uh, the idea that um, we discussed and I think the other person came up with, which I really like, is that only the gel that's moving around is the gel that you'll be able to pick up in the world. All the other gel that doesn't move, you won't be able to pick up. So let me know what you think of that. If you think that'll make it better, if you want to pick up all the types of different gel. Um, but that's it. So that's that. Um, by the way, for those of you that uh, were expecting bracelets um, to be mailed out to you, I did mail them out yesterday. Hopefully you'll get them this week. We'll see what happens. Now, the uh, okay, on to Ask DCH. So uh, let me know what you think of those virtual world changes that I discussed. Um, by the way, Game Designer Week is coming up soon, hopefully, and and it will relate to some of the questions that we answered today. So I'll kind of weave in Game Designer Week into what I'm going to answer with Ask DCH. So let's move forward. Glow asks, DCH, when are you planning to add the virtual world to DC? And are you going to do an anime and fandom-like week? I don't know about that stuff. How about music week? I, uh, I'm working on the virtual world, as I showed um, earlier. Um, it's getting there, but dude, it needs to be a little more polished. I need to work on a few other things and also some other issues. So I am working on it. I'll let, I'll let you know in a few more days exactly what the status is and, and when it'll be out. I think um, we might even just release the virtual world as just Chroma Club and then you could just play it. That way Doodle Club doesn't completely change and Chroma Club has all the virtual world changes. Um, let me know what you think of that. Um, it's still a work in progress and I'm flexible and open to new ideas. As for new weeks, we'll see exactly what happens. I think what we're going to do is we're going to have a big summer festival. And in that summer festival, we can actually have some of these weeks that you mentioned. But the upcoming week that we'll have next is Game Designer Week. And, and in that week, I'm going to show you some of the markers that won and then you can make stories and designs related to it. Puma asks... <clears throat> Let me clear my throat a little. Okay, Puma asks, what made you start this YouTube channel? Okay, well, first of all, I did start it a while back. It's been here for several years. And I really didn't do it frequently. It was just a way to promote games. And then I realized that, wow, a lot of people are watching YouTube. And it would have been really awesome had I actually done this when Doodle Club first came out and just been like having daily updates and talking about stuff and getting feedback. I think it would have been way more effective and way more fun. So I made a mistake. And by the way, if you make a mistake, the best thing to do is correct it as quickly as possible. So I'm like, okay, I better start at least testing out exactly what it would be to or feel like to release a daily video and just give an update on Doodle Club and Chroma Club and discuss stuff. I think it's really been fun for me. I normally did not really want to kind of do a face reveal and everything else. But I mean, what's really cool is that it allows me to kind of um, express myself and just be more comfortable being you know, outside of the code and actually talking to people. So, um, so I think it's been fun. I think it's been really cool, but really what made me want to do this YouTube channel on a daily basis is just to figure out a way to connect and kind of communicate with players on Doodle Club and Chroma Club. Okay. Frost Petal asks, why did you create, or why did you decide to create the wonderful app Doodle Club? Um, yeah, I just wanted to inspire people to do awesome projects together, and that's really my goal. And I think we're kind of getting there, but there's still some things missing, and I'm working on figuring out what those are. So that's really what inspired me. Thanks for playing it, and thanks for the kind comment. Forgotten asks, hey, could there be something in the store so you could change the background color of your comment wall page or your whole profile page? Um, I have heard that request, and I think right now the priority is the virtual world, so let me fix all the kind of complicated math stuff and everything else related to the virtual world, and then we'll consider some of this stuff again. But right now, I need to get the virtual world going, so that's my focus. Sage74412 asks, where do we find the approved marker ideas? How do you mess with font sizes and stuff? And whenever I vote for a battle and I exit out and touch the screen to vote for another battle, it makes me go 
right back to the previous battle I voted for without me even touching the battle. That's by Sage74412, as I said earlier. And, um, okay, so that's a glitch with the battles. Thanks for letting me know. I will see what's up with that. As for the font sizes and stuff, check out Font Code Clubs. They tell you exactly how to do some of this stuff, like font sizes and stuff. Or you can post a job and ask people for qu answers for those. Um, as for uh, finding approved marker ideas, um, I have them. And what I will do is, when Game Designer Week starts, I'll post some of the approved marker ideas and you can design um, some of the game designs that projects around those marker ideas. So, <clears throat> so, um, so for now, um, you will not see the approved marker ideas, but maybe I should list them. I think that's not a bad idea. Maybe I should list them and then you can make comments. So let me know what you think of that or what you want to exactly see with the marker ideas. And the Godly Girl, aka Doodle Club Lawyer, asks, when will the VW be added and does it need an update for it? Yes, it'll need an update. As for when it'll be added, I don't want to comment on it. I'm just working on some of the more challenging stuff as quickly as possible, and we'll see exactly what to do. Okay. Um, I think, you know what, for now, we are going to... I think, I think we answered enough questions. We're going to keep this short. Some of these other questions I might answer later. Um, uh, so I think that's it for now. Uh, thanks again. Uh, oh, but, but I did want to answer Pinkie Pie's question, which was, do you like cheese? And if you do, what is your favorite way to eat it? I do like cheese. I like to eat it with, uh, tortilla chips, but really on pizza is the best. I mean, wouldn't you say that cheese on pizza is awesome. Makes it really good. So, um, so that's that. And I guess, uh, you know what? I already answered Pink Panda Bear's question last time. Let's go to Demon's question, which is, will you ever add more colors and lower the price of the markers? I think they're too expensive. I want to add more colors. I think we're going to add colors in the virtual world. I definitely know about the brown thing. Someone was supposed to help me with the brown colors that we were going to add to the store, but they didn't come through yet. And that reminds me. So I am going to figure out a way to get those brown colors again. Thanks for the reminder. <laughs> And, um, okay, Dark, well, actually, we'll go with Go Giants 40, GG 40, and Go Eagles 11, GE 11 Sports Girls asks, what is the new virtual world going to be like? Um, I showed a demo at the beginning of the video. Check it out. Let me know what you think. Dark asks, if you were a dragon, what would you do? I would try to become a dragon in Doodle Club and just fly around and help people do projects. So that's <laughs> what I would do. Finally, Moonstar1360 asks, how do you use bases? I think what you can do is you can go to your collection or you can go to your doodles and you just tap on more, like in, in the case of your doodles or whatever gifts you've gotten, and tap on more and then you have the edit button and then you can edit stuff. So that's exactly, uh, and then it'll go to your drawing area and then you can draw on top of it. So that's exactly how you use bases. Um, so that's it for now. Thanks again for all of the questions. Embrace the power of the doodle. Take care.